Today on Power Speed Garage, we're going to show you guys a few of our cars and uh, talk about what our plans are. Time has come. Time to draw a number. Got a bunch of got a bunch of numbers in here. Assigned everybody a number that commented. It's a little late. I said a week, but it's it's been two. So whatever. Got Mike here. He's gonna draw. All right. Let's see, Mike. What do you got? Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. That don't work like that. Whoa. Trying to get away so he looked in the bucket. All right. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. The number is 13. 13. All right. John Bamboo, you win, buddy. So uh, I'll, I'll send you a message and we'll get your address and get you your mouse pad shipped out. Thanks for everybody that commented and participated. Uh, stick around for another one. All right, first up, we got the K24 EG hatch. And uh, we got this car as a shell. And, you know, I actually bought the uh, K24A from HMO before we even had a shell to put it in. And um, finally found it, found this shell up in LA. Guy had just had the paint done, and you know it was a beautiful, beautiful shell. So picked that up. Rear is all gutted out for the most part, you know. Yeah, pretty heavy car though, actually, for what it is. The car weighed in at at a 2180, so it could definitely lose some weight, you know, if you want to diet or something. I, my car is dirty so should have detailed it first but it glistens so i uh, got the hasport egk2 swap mounts um the k-tuned ep3 pulley the skunk 2 ultra intake it's the uh the street so that's good. Got the 70 mil Skunk 2 throttle body into the velo the K Tune Velocity stack. Um, running the in order to run the uh, Skunk 2 Ultra, you had to run the K Tuned block off plate. There's some other options out there, but K Tune has a great product, and uh, along with the upper fill neck. So I like both of those pieces a lot. Uh, the K Tune fuel pressure regulator over there. Uh, the K-Tune traction bar down below. And the vitamin water uh, cooling catch. So, shout out to vitamin water. Up front we got the, up front we got the Willwood big brakes. Uh, love those brakes. Car stops great. Mickey Thompson ET Street R's. K-Tune TSX shifter. Energy steering wheel. Uh, got the DC2 rear brake conversion. Um, and the uh, for an exhaust, I got the K-Tune 4 into one header going into the 3-inch Skunk 2 uh, Mega Power. So, and I love that exhaust. It sounds amazing. And with the with the use of the K Tune four into one race header, uh, it did interfere with the Hasport EG K Two mount. Um, we contacted Brian and let him know, and he said that that would be a safe amount of material to remove to let it fit, and that uh, future kits would not contain would would would, would have uh, room for the for the header. So. Brian's a really good guy. He's always ready to help. Just did front lower control arm bushings and um, 
uh, rack and pinion. Uh, the suspension wise, this thing's ready to go. I like hitting the canyons once in a while, drag strip, and also daily it. So it's a versatile car and it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's putting down 220 horsepower and 180 torque and wheel horsepower. yeah that's wheel horsepower and tuned by armin up at uh up at whitfield in upland california it's a great shop they do a lot of cool fab work yep jnc 15 by 8s you know everybody wants wants a name brand tire a name name brand wheel but uh to me i i'd rather put that money into performance parts and you know down the road if the stars align maybe it'll get some some uh nice wheels someday but for now this does the job i've no, i don't have any complaints about these wheels i love the look and uh you know the car is just a blast oh i'm really a bummer that we didn't start our channel uh before undertaking these builds you know because there's years of footage that, that we don't have but you know that's kind of how, what made us want to start the channel we talked about that and we're like man we've lost so much footage and a lot of these builds why not start now and you know continue on so that's pretty much it for the for the hatch let's go check out the crx over here we got my brother's pride and joy freshly redone carbon fiber hood Shout out to Craig, my boss, let us do it at work. I redid it. Super easy to do. We're definitely going to have a video of that coming soon for the Integra hood. But uh, got the B20 VTEC, the uh, ITR rep pistons, GSR head, the Bill Good special head package with the uh, Bill Good uh, regrind GSR cams, the OEM cams. I uh, got the Buddy Club cam gears. Got the CTR pulley, the N1 pulley. Everybody talks crap on it, but works great. Uh, got the Performer X Edelbrock with the Portmax 72 millimeter block billet throttle body. And I'm just running the uh, PLM Big Tube uh, Tri Y header. Seems to work great. Got the Speed Factory uh, catch can. It's the NA1. The whole kit was pretty cheap. It's, it works really good. Got the Hasport. Um, billet mounts those are super nice product I actually just repolished them recently because they were looking pretty beat up I uh, I got the RC uh, 370 CC injectors since I'm just running 91 octane fuel um, and the uh, skunk 2 alpha radiator um, with the block slim fan and I'm also running the rye wire budget B series tucked uh, harness uh, innovative clutch uh, conversion kit though. Mm -hmm. I got the, So what is that? Uh, it's the uh, cable to hydro conversion. So this is just one of the many options there are. There's a ton of different options to do this but I had the mechanical kit on here which worked great on my B20 with the stock clutch but now I have a much more aggressive clutch in this one so it was stretching the cable we think it wasn't engaging so we had to swap to the uh, innovative uh, little bracket here which still uses the cable which I mean I don't really like but it was the cheapest and easiest uh, route to go without swapping out all the pedals I mean, the, so that kit works really good though yeah so got okay. cut doors cut doors in Lexan uh, yeah it hasn't been to the scale yet but uh, my brother got down on this paint job you know it's a little dirty right now but he he cleaned out every seam and the interior just came out looking great as far as uh you know the attention to detail same in the engine bay you know there's a lot of a lot of seams that were scrubbed clean you know and that stuff ain't easy to remove and the engine bay you know it show, speaks for itself looks great um this is just a uh, single stage Acrylic enamel paint this is my first paint job. I didn't know that paint wasn't very good, but uh, it came out really good for the price of the paint. And so overall, how much everything. did you spend for the entire paint job? Overall, the primer was like a, about eighty bucks, and the paint was about eighty bucks. So I think with sandpaper and polishing and all that, I probably spent about four hundred bucks total. 
garage paint job. And what gun did you use? A Harbor Freight yeah, gun, right? Harbor Freight, fifteen dollar gun. We already have the compressor, so that was Mickey Thompson, twenty four point five by nine, but it's a thirteen inch uh, Lenzo drag wheel. Um, it's a great tire. It hooks really good. A lot of people said it was too big of a tire, but I don't think so. And I uh, put down some decent time to the track. So, yeah, so what was your best time so far on this uh, on this yeah, setup? First time out running it, it went 7.63. And uh, Has, the car hasn't even had an alignment. There's no no uh, camber kit in the front yeah. or the rear. So this thing, uh, no, alignment. no alignment at all. Just yeah. Not even dialed in, and it went 7.63. I know it has a lot more in it. So I'm excited to see what more it can do this year. And actually, in my, uh, the the EG hatch daily driver, that's best time is uh, eight two on that car. So street, tire. street yeah, that's street tire DOT uh, Mickey Thompsons, and uh, you know I think it's capable of sevens. We'll see, you know, but definitely have a lot of plans. I've I've started to piece together a, a turbo kit. Uh, but I'm not in any rush, you know, I'm just going to slowly gather the parts and do that in the future, you know, so stay tuned for that. So, and then now what suspension are we running? Yeah, so it's got the uh, blocks, drag suspension, the 18 kg springs, I think the front is actually a little bit less, but the rears are 18 kg, super, super stiff, it's pretty, yeah, bounce the car. Yeah bounce off the ground. I'm still running the stock cluster, so my last number on there is a 7, and I'm going to 9K, so. Got the running Chrome Pro, uh, ECU. Uh, it's a uh, Darden tuned, made 220 wheel horsepower, and 166 foot-pounds of torque. Yeah, so that's pretty much the rundown on the Rex. Uh, I guess we're going to move on to the Datsun, show you guys about this one. Uh, I picked this car up with the motor in the car, not wired in or anything, and uh, this is the SR20 DET, unsure, you know, uh, unsure about what's been done to it, maybe it's, I'm pretty sure it's just stock, but uh, uh, as far as it, you know, it's got the motor and trans mounted, and I've just been picking up parts here and there to uh, try and get this thing on the road. No brakes at all, no e brake, no uh, foot brake. You just put in the Willwood wheel all the way around, got the Willwood kit. Yeah, just got the Willwood disc conversion kit uh, for the rear. And in the front, we did the big. Big, uh, big brake Willwood kit on the front. Just can't go wrong with Willwood. I love their stuff. Uh, yeah, and got the Techno Toy tuning suspension in the rear, and in the front, uh, we got some Coney Yellows with the springs that came with the car. So there's some room for improvement there. But um, got the Anki wheels. These came on the car. Custom radiator, right? It yeah, custom radiator and custom uh, intercooler. Um, ASD handbrake. Yeah, the ASD handbrake. Hydraulic handbrake. Hydraulic handbrake, you know, get some skids in. Uh, got the Brad Lomax. Might upgrade, though, to something a little more comfortable. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, might just go Kirky. That's what I'm thinking. But... Um, Got a got the wiring harness with the car. Unsure, the guy made it himself. Uh, he seemed like he knew what he was doing, so um, he actually got this car painted from a, a, another couple guys. You know, they did all the body work and did an amazing paint job. And it's on yeah, it's on Ratson.net. If you search '68 Drag Queen, you could find the original pictures of the with the original owners uh, that did. You know, they just stripped it down completely and did a amazing job. And uh, now we're just trying to finish it off. So it's actually gone through three owners before it got to me. Everyone more or less gave up on it. Uh, you know, there was just so much to do. So 
uh, slow, you know, we're planning on finishing this thing, making some power and uh, doing some skids, you know, maybe some little easy street skids here and there, maybe just, uh, you know, definitely just going to be the Sunday cruiser for the most part, you know, something you take out on the weekend and pass down to your kids someday. So, love this car, really can't wait to get it finished. Just awesome ghost flames that flash purple in the right light. They're just, man, I just love this paint job. It's so original in my opinion for a Datsun 510 to have the hot rod ghost flames. Just gonna fit in great around here, you know, in our area there's just so many hot rods and down here in San Diego, California. And uh you know it's gonna fit in it's gonna fit in great. Yeah, fully stitch welded and shaved engine bay. Uh the entire chassis has been stitch welded, but you know the shaved engine bay is just gorgeous. Still trying to decide on brake option uh, brake line options, you know, there's no no brake no brake line uh, no brake lines were on the car so we're doing that all from the ground up I'm pretty sure we're gonna run we, we trying to test fit this uh, this brake line here trying to figure out the bender and you know, get it to run clean nice and tight along the chassis and uh, then we also test fit the braided line so I'm kind of leaning toward the braided line because, uh, you know, it'll just save a lot of time and you can make it look a lot cleaner. So looking into options for that. That's basically the Datsun though. You know, a long way to go, but I think we're going to get there soon. Uh, so that's the K-Hatch, the Datsun SR20, and the uh, B20V CRX. Uh, now we're going to move into the other daily. Uh, my bros, Coop. That's a, that's a 93 Coop. Uh, just a sweet rattle can black paint job. Yep. Do it yourself, people. Super easy. Doesn't look great, but doesn't look terrible. Uh, I like the look of this car a lot. Looks a lot better than when I got it. Did a few little things. Obviously, the mud flaps, blue mirrors. Got a really nice OMP seat that sits so low, I'm pretty tall. Shout so, out to Darren. Shout out to Darren. Had to take out all of his uh had to take out all of his spacers. He had a stack of washers to keep it high enough for him to see over the dash. But <laughs> uh, roasting it. Uh, Alright, so pop the hood, man. What do you got in here? Huh? So this one got the old suspension off the CRX, which is the uh, Skunk 2 Pro S2s. Rides really good. Got the Stone 2 uh, Golden Rear Lower Control Arms, which looks, looks really nice. Uh, this had the Type R in it. I actually just took it out last week because uh, one of the valves was really leaky. So I'm getting a valve junt done on that right now. So I just threw in the B20 so I can get to work. So I had this sitting around. This is the old motor I used to have in my CRX before we got the Type R. So, just threw this in. Got the BWR uh, strut bar, the three point, which is really, really nice. Stiffens up the ride a lot. Uh, this radiator came with the car. I think it's just like an eBay radiator, but it works really good. The car never gets hot. It actually doesn't even go to the halfway point. Got some eBay mounts. Uh, went a little cheap on this one <laughs> but uh these mounts are sweet and they're only like a hundred bucks and they work great i've had them for a while now and no issues really so uh got the k&n filter of course k&n got the best filters uh, got these uh xxr wheels on here right now since uh one of my spoon wheels or not spoon they're the knockoffs they're the rotas or whatever but uh one of them got a crack in it, so now I'm rocking these two in the front, which are a little bigger, 225, so it was nice on the Type R, but now it's pretty pointless on the B20. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so, so we're going to boost the ITR. This is the new manifold for it. Got the Skunk Pro Series with the Skunk 70mm uh, throttle body. This uh, we actually ported out with our uh, 
uh, prototype porting tool, which worked amazing on this one. Had enough room. And uh, yeah, the head's getting the valve job done right now. Uh, Tristan's hooking it up. And it uh, should be done this week sometime. So I'm going to pick that up, get it all back together, and possibly throw it back in the coop. Or I really want to put it in the Integra. I'm not sure yet, but... Uh, so might go in the Teggy. Might go in the Teggy. We got the, the 99 GSR Integra with the ultra crusty carbon fiber hood. We're definitely going to get a video of us redoing that. But uh, yeah, shout out to Owen. Hooked it up on this one. The, uh, he just gave it to me because uh, some lean cell paperwork uh, issues. But yeah, I'm going to try and get that figured out. And if it doesn't cost too much to register, then I might just turbo this thing. Paint and turbo it. So that's a few of the cars. Uh, we'll also be attending a lot of events in the future uh, and participating. You know, get some better times in on the cars. Uh, you know, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, please like and please like and look. Uh, so you can feel cool.